This is Her Majesty the Queen speaking. <clears throat> it's that special time of year when my thoughts turn to those who serve me well. Like the Mayor of London, with knife crime through the roof, and now London a city of excellence for acid attacks across the world, and a murder rate higher than New York, keeping the Metropolitan Police busy, yet managing to end the year with tumbleweed rolling down the mouth. As I watched the kitchen staff stuff the turkey, I immediately thought of Matt Hancock and hoped that wherever he is today, he's getting his fair share of stuffing himself. In these days of stay in, go out, wear a mask, don't wear a mask, go to the pub, don't go to the pub, mix indoors, don't mix indoors, I think of the fact I'm glad I afford myself that special little sherry before the five o'clock bulletin. My Prime Minister is sliding down the poles faster than a professional wearing breast tassels and a musical thong. There is a saying you can't please all the people all of the time. Well, Boris, you certainly gave it your best shot, especially with the lovely Carrie. As Philip and I were decorating the tree, we smashed a few baubles. And again, my thoughts drifted to those who truly deserve their baubles smashing at this time of year. I know the viewers at home will probably have their own list of deserving people. In an effort to get on down with the kids, I have a special message for them. Chameau, chameau, father muckers, it is you that will take the next generation of this country forward in it. And again, I'm glad I afford myself that special sherry. As an example of my continued service to this country, I hope to live to be able to reach the age of 146 to avoid my politically aware son coming to the throne. He seems to see the Covid restrictions as some sort of window of opportunity. We can only hope the window smashes too good and hard and traps his fingers. Now, I'm off with the corgis to get some fresh air. Long live the Queen. <laughs>